Blended learning requires you to learn a few new vocabulary words. First, blended learning doesn't mean a curriculum smoothie. Instead, it means that while a lot of your time will be spent online learning your content material, you will still be making regular contact with your teachers, sometimes face-to-face -face and sometimes virtually. The teacher is using the best of both methods to help you learn the content of his or her course. Regular contact with your teachers can happen in several ways. In blended learning, some of the, those methods are called synchronous, meaning you and the teacher are communicating in real time. The first method is by meeting with the teacher face to face. For some of your classes, you will be required to come in and demonstrate skills. Your teacher will set up a choice of times to meet for the labs or tutoring sessions. You may be asked to use the Canvas scheduler so that your teacher knows how many students are expected and can find an appropriate space for everyone to meet together. You are also welcome to come in during the teacher's posted enrichment hours to meet him or her in person and get individualized help. The other synchronous type of meeting is through a Google Hangout. A Google Hangout becomes a virtual link to your teacher. If you call and ask for help, your teacher can send you an open, a link to open. In this way, your teacher can share his screen with you, and you can share your screen with him. Using this method, you can still remain at home while getting direct help from your teacher. Your teacher may also set up a Google Hangout to help groups of students review content for a test. Another type of learning is asynchronous. This means that you will be learning from your teacher outside of a set time. This is why checking your inbox in a timely manner is so important. If you don't, you might be missing some vital information your teacher needs you to know for a future lab or test. Also, we know that teens and adults have different sleep patterns. So if you are working on an assignment at 1 a.m., chances are your teacher most likely won't be available for a Google Hangout chat. But if you ask a question of your teacher through an inbox message, he or she will see it first thing in the morning and provide you with the answer for when you are ready to receive it. Another benefit to learning is that there are still opportunities to interact with fellow students. Teachers know that we aren't always clear in our instructions and that sometimes a fellow student can explain a concept better than we can. Therefore, we highly encourage your participation on the discussion boards. And it's not enough just to say, yeah, I agree with you. Explain why you agree. This not only helps you articulate the concept, but it provides your peer with further reinforcement as to why the idea is correct. The greatest form of this is through the Socratic seminar. You will participate in several of these if you are enrolled in Kern Learn English. The best part of this method is that it can work both synchronously and asynchronously. The seminar itself will be held at a specific time, and you will have a choice of two times to attend. You may do so in person or through a Google Hangout. If you are unable to attend, you will submit your response to the discussion board the evening prior to the seminar. Students at the seminar will discuss your discussion point along with their own responses. Both of these sessions will be recorded and later posted to the lesson in Canvas. You will then be able to listen to the seminar and add your reactions to the discussion board. You can review these seminars as many times as you need to before you sit down to write the essay for the module. The most important of these methods of communication is through that inbox. All of your teachers look here first for any questions, problems, or ideas. You should also get used to calling them during their best office hours. Sometimes it is awkward to reproach a teacher with a question, but it is actually the most effective way to communicate with him or her.